Lindsay and this is your weekly news update from Open Media. Next week is a big one when it comes to international threats to internet freedom. Monday marks the beginning of not one, but two negotiating sessions that could have a chilling effect on our digital future. First, in Dubai, it will be decided whether the ITU, a little known branch of the UN, will gain control over international internet governance. Now, we've been worried about this for two main reasons. One, that the ITU's proposals have been shrouded in secrecy and thus haven't quite been inviting to public participation. And two, that undemocratic nations are taking advantage of the ITU to threaten internet openness and innovation, increase access costs, and erode human rights online. Luckily, thanks to an overwhelming response from citizens worldwide who signed at protectinternetfreedom.net, the ITU has now released all of their documents relating to December's discussions. Now, we're far from being out of the woods yet. It's clear from released text that the ITU's impact on the internet will be significant. But as more of you visit protectinternetfreedom.net and add to the outcry, we are very confident that the internet freedom community can change things for the better. As one member of our community, Isaac, put it in a Facebook post, this type of due restrictive agreement can't be drafted against our will and encroach upon our freedom to access the internet at a fair price. Now, the other set of negotiations that start Monday is a round of talks around the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, something that we at Open Media have called an internet trap. In short, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP, is an international trade agreement that would put an unprecedented amount of power into the hands of big media and big telecom and allow them to do things like find you for your internet use and remove online content at will. Folks from the StopTheTrap.net coalition, however, including Open Media's own Steve Anderson, are headed to Auckland, New Zealand, where the TPP negotiations are taking place, and they're going to bring your voices to the table. We've been inviting citizens to send in comments at OpenTheTPP.net, and our plan is to amplify your voices and use your words to push back against industry lobbyists who would criminalize everyday uses of the internet. That's right, we'll have people on the ground from start to finish, and wherever we find negotiators or bureaucrats, they will find your comments in front of them. Yes, indeed, this month we'll have more than a few sleepless nights for those of us fighting for internet freedom, but together we're making progress and showing policymakers that citizens will make themselves heard for the internet. This is Lindsay with Open Media, signing off.